Hello everyone. Today, we are going to talk about eye infection, particularly about conjunctivitis and sty. Imagine one day you wake up and you feel your eyes stuck together. So you walk to the mirror, rubbing your eyes and finds out that your eyes have become red and puffy. So you get worried. Well, there is nothing much to worry about. There is a possibility that you have got a very common childhood problem called conjunctivitis, usually known as pink eye. You might wonder, hmm, what is conjunctivitis? It is an inflammation or infection of the conjunctiva that lines the eyelid and covers the white part of your eyeball. When small blood vessels in the conjunctiva become inflamed, they are more visible. This is what causes the white of your eye to appear reddish or pink. Now, how to recognize a conjunctivitis? You should check for these symptoms. If you have red and puffy eyes, itchy, irritation or burning of eyes, gritty feel, accumulation of a white yellow or greenish gooey liquid in the eyes, and lastly, you are sensitive to light, yes, it is most likely to be conjunctivitis. Even though conjunctivitis is not a dangerous disease, it can be highly contagious. Coughing and sneezing are some possible routes through which this infection can spread amongst your friends. So, if you caught conjunctivitis, it is essential to stay home. In case you have touched the eye discharge, washing your hands often with warm soapy water will surely help. Other preventive measures include avoid touching your eyes with your hands, avoid sharing towels or wash clothes, change your pillowcases often, and avoid sharing eye cosmetics or personal eye care items. There are multiple factors responsible for getting pink eyes. Most kids get it from some notorious viruses and bacteria. But it could also be due to the improper use of contact lenses, irritants such as shampoos, dirt, smoke and poor chlorine, and an allergic reaction to things like pollen, dust or smoke. Let's look at the treatments for conjunctivitis. The treatments are varies depending on whether it is bacterial, viral or allergic reaction. For bacterial infection, antibiotic ointments or eye drops are very useful in curing up the condition. For viral infection, oral antiviral treatment like acyclovir and balaciclovir can be given to you by the doctor. You can treat the symptoms with school compress but always consult your doctor before applying anything on your eyes as it can be very sensitive. For allergic reaction, oral or eye drop antihistamine such as amidastin and artificial tears can be given to you by the doctor. Now, as you already get the idea of what is conjunctivitis, let's move on to the second eye infection. Let me give you another scenario for you to imagine. You wake up in the morning, suddenly you feel something on your eyelid that makes you uncomfortable. So, you open your phone camera to check it out and turns out it is a lump that kinda look like a pimple. You are now tempted to pop it. Nope, you should never try to pop it under any circumstances as it could be a sty and popping it might worsen the infection. Hmm, so what sty actually is? Sty, or medically known as hordeolum, is a red, painful lump near the edge of the eyelid that may look like a boil or a pimple and often fill with pus. It usually forms on the outside of the eyelid, but sometimes it can also form on the inner part of the eyelid. How to be sure that it is a sty? You should look out for these symptoms. If you have a sore and scratchy eye, red lump on eyelid like a pimple, swelling and pain of eyelid, and crusting of eyelids or lashes, Yes, my friend, there is a possibility that you have a sty. Let's look at the possible causes of the sty. A sty is caused by an infection of eye glands in the eyelid. Staphylococcus species of bacteria is commonly responsible for most of these infections. The risk factors include touching your eyes with unwashed hands, inserting contact lenses without thoroughly disinfecting them first, using aspirated makeup, and certain skin condition like rosacea. How it is usually treated? Since it's a bacterial infection, the best way to treat this infection is with an antibiotic. The doctor may prescribe you with oral antibiotic such as amoxicillin and tetracycline to help you recover faster. In some cases, like external sty that has ruptured, a topical antibiotic like erythromycin may be prescribed. 
It can also be treated by applying warm soaks 4 times a day for 15 minutes. The most important question, how to prevent this tie? Firstly, wash your hands with soap and warm water or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer several times a day. Keep your hands away from your eyes. Next, reduce your risk of recurrent eye infections by throwing away all cosmetics. Lastly, if you wear contact lenses, make sure your contact lenses are clean and make sure you wash your hands thoroughly before handling your contacts. Finally, as you already know about common eye infection, let's now look at step by step on how to use eye drops, ointment or gel properly as well as the correct way to apply warm and cold compressors on eye infection. For eye drop ointment and gel. Step 1. Read the instructions. If you need to take more than one type of eye drop at the same time, wait 3 to 5 minutes between the different kinds of medication. Step 2. Get prepared. Always wash your hands before handling your eye drops or touching your eyes. Shake the drops vigorously before using them. Remove the cap of the eye drop medication but do not touch the dropper tip. Step 3. Place the drops into your eye. Tilt your head back slightly and look up. Use one hand to pull your lower eyelid down away from the eye. Hold the dropper tip directly over the eyelid pocket. Don't touch the bottle to your eye or eyelid as this can give bacteria or other contaminants a chance to grow in your eye drops. Squeeze the bottle gently and let the eye drop fall into the pocket. For the last step, close your eyes and do not blink. Next, let's see step by step of cold compress for conjunctivitis. Step 1. Place ice cubes in a plastic bag. Step 2. Run a wash clothes under cold water and then wrap it around the plastic bag of ice. Step 3. Close your eye and then place the homemade compress on your eye for up to 10 minutes. Step 4. Dry the area with a towel after you are done. Lastly, let's look at step by step of warm compress first tie. To make a warm compress, heat a wet towel in the microwave until it's warm or you can dip it in hot water and wring it out. Next, apply the warm towel to your eyelid for 10 to 15 minutes. Remember, not hot, it's supposed to be a warm towel. Styes usually begin to shrink after only a few days of treatment with warm compress. If a bump remains after 3 or 4 weeks, your doctor may consider prescribing medication. Now, we have come to the end of this video. Hopefully, it would help you to get a better idea about eye infection. Remember to consult your doctor for proper diagnosis and treatment option. Thank you for watching this video.